you just have a uterus and it will be okay. So hang in there. If anyone's wondering what PMS feels like, this is it. This right here. <laughs> We live in a world where rest is rarely respected and we're surrounded by ever increasing pressure to do more and more. When we exist in a culture where growth at all costs is what's valued, rest becomes radical and your period is the perfect time to embrace it if you feel called to. You clicked on this video because either you have PMS, are PMSing, or you just want to watch a vlog in which I'm cranky and tired for about 15 minutes. If that's the case, welcome. This is going to be a nice little lazy vlog today. It is Wednesday, it is quarter past one. I haven't gotten anything done this morning. I've literally just been journaling a little bit and mostly just chilling, watching YouTube videos and scrolling on my phone very lazily, um, which happens sometimes, but it doesn't make me feel the best. Yesterday I went to the library and I just noticed all day I had so many thoughts going on, a lot of brain fog, I couldn't focus on anything, which was really frustrating. So I kind of got home, got really emotional and just called it a day. Sometimes you just gotta give up. But today is PMS day two and I'm just gonna try to take care of myself, we're gonna do some self-care, make some food and hopefully filming will motivate me to actually get out of the house because I have a class at two that I really need to attend. Okay, let's do this. I also Loki kind of just want to stay here all day, but unfortunately that is not an option. Okay, first things first, let's get dressed. Right, nothing too crazy. We're gonna keep it extremely simple today because all I want to be is cozy and comfortable, some nice baggy pants because we don't want anything restricting the tummy area. I just have a long sleeve under this for some extra warmth and then a nice baggy hoodie to keep me warm all day. If anyone's wondering what PMS feels like, this is it, this right here. Okay, we're just gonna pop the hair in a ponytail because don't wanna worry about that today. And also, this is the day to not care about what you look like. So if you don't know what PMS is or you think you know what PMS is, but you're not too sure, PMS basically stands for premenstrual syndrome and this is like a whole combination of symptoms that women, some women, um, the real lucky ones, experience before their period starts. So most people who get their periods will feel these symptoms during their periods, moodiness, like agitated, cravings, acne, tired, bloating, um, you know, you, you know. Um, but there are some people who also experience this set of symptoms every month um, around the same time before their period starts and I'm one of those people um, which means that your period hasn't started yet so you might not really know like what's happening to you but you might notice that you're feeling a little bit off and things are just weird maybe you cried at a movie that wasn't even sad or maybe you cried because you know you burned your food for example <laughs> all of this is really really normal um, yesterday I was feeling really frustrated with my fatigue, my tiredness, I was like why can I not focus, what is wrong with me, especially because I have not been drinking caffeine and my energy levels were actually really high lately. I got really frustrated and I was kind of just like what is happening to me? That is your cue usually. But of course if you want to have like better insights in your cycle um, and you're not tracking it in any way, there's a lot of different apps that you can use. For example, I use the Flow app to track my period dates, symptoms are surrounding it. I think eventually the key is just to understand your own body, to understand your symptoms and to understand what you need um, rather than get frustrated with yourself because this will most likely happen every month for the next um, 30 years. <laughs> so I think it's important that we are kind to ourselves and I've been really trying to understand my body more. Um, I don't say that you shouldn't also be frustrated and cry because I definitely did that yesterday, really important. I think my attitude when it comes to PMS days or even period days is to just try and have a day. It doesn't have to be a good day, it may be a bad day, but initially we're just going to try and have a day. Get something done, eat, maybe go for a walk, move, sleep, you know, we'll see how far we get. Right, we're good to go. I'm wearing a thousand million layers. Um, put my hair up in a clip. Oh, 
now we're just gonna go face the music ideally i would not leave the house at all today but unfortunately that is not really an option because of my seminar so i'm just gonna go sit to two hours of that and then i'm basically free today was go to my two hour lecture and it is already dark outside it's now five o'clock it's literally insane and yeah went to a lecture didn't go to the library after just went straight to the supermarket and straight home because my headache is really setting in and i was also noticing some cramps um i did stop by the bookshop because i wanted to look for the book period power by macy hill which i found so i'll show that in a bit i got a little brownie mix because we're gonna bake i'm gonna make some brownies and then I got whipped cream for on the brownies. So got some cranberry juice, which is my favorite to have in the morning. Um, high in vitamin C, antioxidants, all that stuff, and also just really nice. I get weird cravings for baby bell cheeses all the time, but I've also been using them as like little mid gym snacks. They have like five grams of protein each. Um, I got the light version this time just because you don't need to have the fat white with you. So I got a bag of that, definitely empty already on the way home because I was really munchy. Then I just got some protein flapjacks for whenever I feel ready to go to the gym again, which is definitely not today or tomorrow. Right, I'm all cozy and fresh and warm. So let's make some brownies. <laughs> Son como las dos de la mañana y no sé qué hacer. Recuerdo el sabor que dejaban tus labios. Eran dulcitos como la miel y al despertar siempre te vas. Eres fugaz ya me acostumbré buscando respuestas que ya las sé. Es mejor que no vuelva aunque mi corazón te pre I'm so happy to be in bed. So while we wait for the brownie to be done, I thought I'd just use a little face mask to relax. So I'm just gonna use this salicylic acid face mask, which is really good for acne prone skin, especially during your period when you get like breakouts. Um, I think this is like really good not only to prevent them, but also to treat them. So I'm just gonna put that on now while we wait for the brownies to be done. Okay, so the mask is black, so I'm gonna look a little bit crazy, but that's okay. I'm just going to <laughs> not be on camera while I look like this. It's gonna chill out for 10 minutes and then wash it off. My skin feels so nice and soft from the mask. It's just really good to like pamper yourself a little bit. I'm just gonna use a little bit of um, squalene. It's just this kind of plant-derived oil, also from The Ordinary, which is really hydrating, perfect for after any like masks that kind of are acidic. I'm all fresh, cozy, skincare done, so I'm gonna check on the brownies and then eat them in bed. Oh, it smells so good. With lots of love, for me to me, Time to eat this and chill out and watch some Netflix. And just relax. Today I went to the bookshop to pick up this book, Period Power by Macy Hill. Um, basically, I've been recently really getting more interested in like all the aspects that make up your menstrual cycle. I just thought it was so strange that as a woman, like I'm 24 right now, and like the most things I know about my own cycle are really centered around your ovulation, your period, the chances of getting pregnant, 
and sort of like the frustration that comes with getting my period and being really tired having pain cramps um and sort of like dealing with it in that way but there's actually so much more to it and i've been recently researching a lot more about the stages of your whole monthly cycle and at what times in your cycle you can do things to help your body be better and also feel better so it's called period power macy hill um harness your hormones and get your cycle working for you because i haven't started yet so i'm excited to start it now especially going into my period hopefully to be a bit more kind to myself and understand a little bit more what is actually happening in my body i'll read a little bit from just like the book flap so you have an idea of what the book is about the hormones of the menstrual cycle profoundly influence our energy mood and behavior but all too often we're thought that our hormones make us unreliable moody bitches and that it's our lot in life to put up with women's problems Macy Hill, a women's health practitioner, knows the power of working with the menstrual cycle and refuses to accept this theory. Instead, Macy believes that our hormones are there to serve us and if utilized correctly, can be used to help you get what you want out of life. Yes, we are hormonal and that's a very good thing. Period power. That's it. Period. I feel like slowly this vlog is just becoming a big eating vlog. I have to say eating is a pretty big part of my day when I'm just feeling a bit like low. Now this is when I really love and appreciate me yesterday because I made a shitload of spinach feta pasta and I have a lot left so I just have to heat that up and back to bed. This is actually such a nutritious recipe. So the sauce is basically purely garlic fried spinach. I'll just blend it up with some basil leaves and feta. Then I boil two eggs just for some extra protein. Right, to end today on a really nice and relaxed note, I'm just going to do a little bit of yoga and some stretching. Very easy, very slow, especially because my stomach is already pretty bloated. So I just want to take it easy, but I'm also quite sore because I went to the gym on Monday. Um, so I'm still a bit sore from that and I just noticed like a bit of general soreness and discomfort. So I just thought I'd stretch my body a little bit and then I'll be ready for bed and have a really, really good sleep. <music> Son como la dos de la mañana y no sé qué hacer. Recuerdo el sabor que dejaban tus labios.